card scraper is one of my favorite hand tools. It seems to combine equal amounts of cutting steel geometry and black magic. And in another video, I've shown some of the uses that I have for a card scraper. Now, there's more ways, than you can use, more ways to use a scraper than just as a card scraper. For example, in a recent episode of the TV show, I made one of these tools. It's called a scraper shave. It combines the benefits of a card scraper with those of a spoke shave. So you can make really controlled cuts to smooth and fine tune all kinds of surfaces from flat to round. Now the blade on them is just like a scraper, but it's not something that you can buy. So you have to make it yourself. The process is really easy. So what I have is just a regular card scraper that I kind of use as the sacrificial one because I can make any kind of custom tools from it. You can see I already cut off one of the corners. So what I've done is laid out the shape of my scraper blade just using a, a Sharpie, just a fine magic marker, allows you to be able to create a line that you can see. To cut that to shape, I'm going to use a machinist vise here and set it up in the vise. And I'm going to start with it a little low because the scraper being thin has a tendency to vibrate quite a bit. So I'll get the cut started with a hacksaw, raise it up a little bit to finish it, and then cut the other side. All right, with the scraper blank roughly sized, I'm going to use a file to just dress up and clean up the edges on there from the hacksaw. On the top edges of the blade, I'm just going to round them over a little bit just to create a little softer, safer edge. I used a finer file to clean up some of those edges and the corners on our blade. So what we have now essentially is a blank. We need to turn this piece of steel into a blade now. And to do that, I'm going to do it in two steps. What I want to do is on one surface, I'm going to file a bevel. And that is going to form our cutting edge on the opposite side of the blade. So to do that, I'm just going to set the blade in the vise again, pretty low so that it's not going to vibrate and shriek, or at least minimize it. And then I'll use a file here and take strokes at an angle until I get a nice even bevel all the way across the edge of the blade. From there, we'll go on to honing it and creating a nice sharp edge. This next stage of the process is going to feel a lot similar to the process of sharpening your chisels or your plane blades. So in the formation of this bevel on this edge, I pushed a lot of steel over and created a pretty jagged burr on the backside. Will it cut? Yeah, but it's not going to look so pretty. So what we want to do is create a nice smooth edge here. So what I want to do is I'm going to use uh, diamond stones, but you can use any of your other sharpening routine here. I'm going to put down a little bit of lapping fluid on this 300 grit side. And I'm going to start on that beveled face and I want to polish it nice and smooth. The key is keeping it flat, so I'm going to use just a scrap piece of MDF here to apply firm, even pressure as I slide this around. Just check your progress periodically to see how you're doing. And already you can see that I have a, getting a nice scratch pattern right here. And what's most important is right where that cutting edge is going to be. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time here and then I'll do the same thing on the opposite thousand grit side. All right, after taking care of some work on the bevel side now on our thousand grit side of the diamond stone, that's going to leave a little bit of a burr again on this back side. So just a few passes holding that scraper flat on the stone and holding it down with my MDF block. Wipe that off here. And you can see that I have a really nice shiny uh, edge right up where the cutting edge is going to be and the bevel when you catch it in the light just right, 
is nice and smooth too. How far do you want to go on this? You can go nuts if you want to and go all the way up on your sharpening stones, but a thousand grit seems to work for me because I'm using this as more of a refining tool. Now when you go to put it into your scraper shave, if you've made one, you want the bevel facing the back side and then this flat edge facing the front where it's gonna be by the open mouth here. So I'm just gonna loosen it up, slide it into place. And then on the back side, I'm looking for just a little bit of projection from the edge of the scraper blade. Then I can lock it down. Now, like I said, a scraper shave like this comes in handy for flat surfaces. What I like to do is when I've cut out a disc on a bandsaw circle cutting jig, I can use this tool to clean up those edges or even to help shape and smooth curved edges that I've cut on some of my project parts. So I hope you give this uh, scraper shave a try and figure out ways to make your own custom scrapers for all kinds of jobs in your shop.